We as psychologists have spent most of our time looking at what's wrong with people, looking at negative emotions, and there's been a lot of work looking at depression and anxiety and its relationship with pain, and that's a really powerful relationship. But there's also another side of the coin that we as human beings also have positive emotions, and, and terms like resilience have become um, really captivating. You know, what is it about patients that might make them resilient, and what role could positive affect play in pain? And so based on the field of positive psychology, we have developed a series of interventions to help patients in chronic pain settings do better. So what we instruct patients to do is to reflect on the things that happened that day and think about something that made them particularly happy and then write it down on a piece of paper and then put it in the piggy bank. And we instruct them to do this every single day. In one of the studies where we used the positive piggy bank, um, we had women with breast cancer two to three weeks before surgery begin to write these positive memory slips. And then on the night of their surgery, we called them and said, you know, read all these happy memory slips. And what we found in this very, very small study was preliminary evidence that just doing this simple positive piggy bank intervention greatly decreased their levels of anxiety pre-surgically. And we know that pre-surgical anxiety predicts just about everything we don't want to see in, in patients, especially post-operative pain.